Okay. Okay, fine. So now the protease enzyme, okay, this protease enzyme, what they will do? They will break the protease. Uh, what happened to Supriya? She has gone out of the meeting. She will come, we'll start it. Okay. So now the proteins are acted upon by the enzyme protease. Okay. So the enzyme is protease or DMNA. So these enzymes, what they will do, they will break the proteins into amino acids. Okay. Now these amino acids, okay, they uh, since they are broken down by the bacterial proteins and DMNAs, so they will enter into the bacteria only. So as a result, what will happen? The protein, the amino acids will not be available for the animal. Okay, fine. So in that case, there will be loss of the protein because animal is not getting the protein. Only the bacteria are uh, this. Uh, they are using these amino acids. Okay. So in that case. Okay. So that means what it says, very less amount of protein escapes to the ab omesum. From rumen, okay, the few of the proteins which are not attacked by the bacterial uh, microbes, because all proteins are not attacked by the bacterial microbes. Few proteins, they escape the attack by the bacteria. So this protein is called bypass protein. Bypass protein means the protein Okay, in the rumen, which was not attacked by the ruminal microbe or which has escaped the uh, attack by the ruminal microbe. So they only will enter into the abomasum. Okay, so that protein is called bypass protein. Am I clear here? Am I clear here? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, here the question comes, how to improve the feed conversion ratio so there are various ways so number one is the chemical manipulation of rumen fermentative efficiency okay so in that case what is done there are some chemicals are there like monensin or avoparacin so these are the chemicals when these chemicals are added to the diet so what happens this lowers the peptide and amino acid degradation. Okay. And it inhibits the growth of the protozoa. So protozoa present inside because you know the, the rumen, rumen microbes contains so it uh, so it contains rumen microbes. Okay. So that uh, contains bacteria, fungus, as well as the protozoa. So among the protozoa, so these are quite counterproductive. Okay. So they decrease the feed conversion efficiency. Okay. So that is why what happens, these group of compounds, monensin and avoparacin, what they do, they lower the peptide or amino acid degradation. That means what happens in the rumen, I have already said, when the, uh, please wait for a while. So now in the rumen, when the protein enters, okay, these are acted upon by the ruminant microbes. Okay. So this microbial attack in the rumen is prevented by these two compounds. Okay. So that's how what happens. More amount of protein, 
proteins enter the abomasum. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. And apart from that, this compound they also inhibit the growth of the protozoa. The protozoa have got significant effect on lowering of the uh, feed conversion efficiency. Okay. Then manipulation of ruminal microbial mixture. So now you know that I have already said that there are three types of microbes are present in the rumen. So let me open the whiteboard. So we have three types of ruminal microbes. So So what is called ruminal bacteria? Then second one is called is fungus. Okay, and third one is the protozoa. Okay, now among this, the protozoa it lowers the speed. Conversion actions. Okay, fine. Am I clear? So bacteria and fungus, they are okay, but protozoa that lowers the feed conversion efficiency. Okay, because they want more nutrients to survive. So what happens when they require more nutrients to survive? So the whatever feed you are giving, this feed will be consumed by this protozoa. Okay, and the less amount of nutrients will be available to the animal. Okay. Okay. So now uh, it is shown here the protozoa also interferes bacterial colonization. Colonization means what does it mean? See, the bacterial colonization means, means what? Because inside the rumen, there is a ruminal wall. You know about it. Okay inside part of the rumen it is called ruminal wall so in the ruminal wall this bacteria they used to adhere so they used to adhere into the ruminal wall okay so this adherence of the bacteria in the ruminal wall is called colonization okay so now the protozoa also required to adhere to the ruminal wall okay so there will be competition between bacteria as well as protozoa okay either of these two can remain and protozoa is more strong it is stronger than bacteria so what will happen this protozoa will not allow the beneficial ruminal bacteria to adhere to the ruminal wall so that adherence to the ruminal wall is called colonization so colonization will be prevented by protozoa okay so it is essential that you decrease the population of the protozoa so that more amount of bacteria can colonize the ruminal wall. Okay, and you can increase the feed conversion efficiency. Okay. Okay. So now we use a process called deformation. So what is deformation? So deformation, deformation is we use a method called deformation. So deformation is it is the method of decreasing the population of in rumen. So it is a method of decreasing the population of protozoa in rumen. That is called deformation. Okay. So now if you do the deformation, so what is the benefit? So you get the better feed conversion efficiency. Okay. Because the protozoa they what they do they uh, they consume more nutrients and as a result they lower the feed conversion efficiency okay 
so how the deformation can be achieved so deformation can be achieved by using some tropical forages that means some tropical forages are there okay forage means what feed feed material which you get get from grasses and all so these tropical forages okay they have the capability okay to cause deformation am i clear mm -hmm. yes sir so in the feed you will have to include those uh, agents okay okay then development of the supplements so now there are some supplements supplements means what so these are just like we are taking dietary supplements say after food we should take some kind of tonics okay so these are dietary supplements so similarly in animals also we use some kind of feed supplements so these are like urea molasses multi nutrient blocks so now these particular blocks okay they contain multiple nutrients okay and these uh, nutrients or urea what they do they increase the feed conversion efficiency okay by manipulating the uh, microflora of the rumen okay so these urea molasses what they do they decrease the population of the protozoa okay fine and also this urea is uh, readily absorbed by the bacteria okay fine so once the urea is taken up by the bacteria so the bacteria will not attack the proteins fine normally what is happening the bacteria attacks the proteins okay and takes up the amino acids now when say in presence of urea what happen bacteria will not attack the proteins it will take the urea only and proteins will go that means bypass protein will increase okay now we'll talk about the physical chemical reaction of the proteins so now you know that we have discussed earlier that uh, if we do the heat denaturation of that means if uh, let me go, go to the white board let me see okay so okay so we have discussed earlier that uh, this is the protein okay made up of different amino acids okay once the proteins are denatured denatured means proteins can be denatured by many ways See, we have discussed earlier de denaturation of dna the so dna can be denatured by increasing ph and by increasing temperature okay the protein what is the meaning of protein does it de denaturation of dna means separation of both the strands okay and denaturation of protein means the opening of the protein so this is a protein which is in the natural okay. form it is in the folded form this protein gets opened like this so it is called denaturation okay so this method is called this process is called denaturation so denaturation occurs by increasing or decreasing temperature or by changing ph see in case of dna only increasing the ph only increasing temperature or increasing ph can uh, cause the denaturation in case of protein anything either you increase or decrease the temperature or increase or decrease the ph protein will get denatured okay so now what happens now if we just go back to our slide just go back to our slide okay so here what it says is that the proteins are subjected to 120 to 180 degree celsius is a high temperature this protein will get denatured now the denatured proteins are insoluble insoluble means see if we 
Go back here. If you see, this is the protein, natural protein. Okay. Now, when it is subjected to heat, high temperature, so it gets open. So once the protein gets open, so this kind of protein, what we call denatured protein. Okay. So the denatured protein, so this type of so this type of protein, it is insoluble in water. Okay. So the microbes cannot attack those proteins which are insoluble in water. The microbes can attack only the soluble proteins. That means what I mean to say is that only, sorry, only this particular protein can be attacked by microbes. That means the natural or native protein. So this is so this is called native protein. So native protein only can be attacked by microbes. Okay, denatured proteins are insoluble proteins, so they cannot be attacked by the microbes. So if I write it here properly, I would say that microbes can attack. Only native soluble protein. They cannot attack the insoluble denatured proteins. Okay. So that means if we give a feed to animal that contains denatured protein. So this denatured protein will not be attacked by the microbes. So that's how more amount of protein will enter into the abomasum. Okay, fine. That means what will happen? The bypass protein will increase. So if I just tell it in the nutshell, so this, this is the native protein. Upon heating, it became denatured. Now, this denatured protein, this will be the bypass protein, okay? It will be resistant to attack by microbes, okay? And we will go to Abomasum. Okay, that means so what we understand is that from this there is increase in amount of bypass protein. Okay. So bypass protein gets increased. Am I clear here? Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let us go down. So uh, how... Uh, then another one is the chemical reactions, okay? So chemical reactions like reactions with the aldehydes or formaldehyde or glutaraldehyde, okay? So this also can cause the denaturation. But this kind of chemical method, okay, by which the proteins are reacted, okay? So they are sometimes carcinogenic. Do you know what is the meaning of carcinogenic? Can you tell me what is the meaning of the word carcinogenic? Sir, carcinogenic is a cancerous cell, sir. Yeah. 
can say carcinogenic carcinogenic means they have the capability to cause cancer carcinoma means cancer genic means to produce to generate okay so they have the capability to cause cancer okay then the another way is that chemical reaction we can do mixing the feed with the tannins okay or you can use the plants with the that means in the feed you can add the plants that have higher amount of tannin so tannin will not allow bacteria to attack the microbial i mean it will not allow the rumen proteins okay fine okay so now there are new upcoming technologies that are coming up one way is that coating the proteins with the calcium soaps containing long chain fatty acids that means what is done the proteins present in the feed okay they are coated with some kind of calcium soap so calcium soap they contain fatty acids that means what what is says is that if we just go back here that means so this is the protein you have okay so now this protein is coated okay it is coated with calcium soap now what is calcium soap calcium soap means the fatty acids normally you know that in case the fatty acid uh, the formula is like this any fatty acid say ch p ch ch2 ch2 so like this it will go and then at last you will be having ch2 c o o h okay now calcium soap means the h is removed and instead of h you have the calcium here this is called calcium soap okay that is it that is having the calcium attached okay so now this particular yellow portion that i am showing here this is this yellow portion is the calcium soap calcium so now what happens when this proteins are coated with the calcium so now the bacteria will not be able to i mean the, this uh, microbes will not be able to attack not only bacteria i would say the microbes the microbes will not be able to attack the protein because protein is present inside the calcium so okay but this will be attacked only by the enzymes present in the uh, uh, abomasum you know the abomasum is a true stomach am i right or wrong abomasum is true stomach or false stomach hmm yeah, yeah. see the rumen is a false stomach abomasum is the true stomach okay fine so now so when the proteins are coated with the calcium soap so they become resistant they become resistant to microbial attack okay fine okay then second is mixing the uh, mixing the xylose with the protein at low temperature so that means xylose you know it is a kind of carbohydrate okay so once the proteins are in earlier case the protein was coated with calcium soap now in this case the proteins are coated with the xylose so xylose does the same thing this will prevent the microbes to attack the proteins okay and the proteins will go to the abomasum uh, abomasum unhurt okay fine okay
So, do you have any question? No, no sir. No. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we'll have our next class tomorrow. Okay. okay. So, okay. I'll let you know uh, tomorrow only. Okay. Tomorrow. When this class will be held. Okay. okay. So, what I'll do is that I'll just send the link to the WhatsApp as well as uh, in your email. Okay. okay. So, okay. if you decide to uh, attend the class through the laptop, you can just open the email. Okay. In the mail, you will get the link. The way you have done in case of uh, mobile phone. Are you uh, do you, are, are you attending this class through mobile phone or through uh, uh, phone, laptop? Sir. Mobile phone, sir. Mobile phone. phone. Sir. Kame, you are using what? Mobile phone or phone. laptop? Huh? You are using phone. phone. Okay. 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 Fine. Okay. There is no problem. If you are using phone, there is no problem because you have a WhatsApp in the phone. You can just click WhatsApp. that link. It will come. Okay. And if you are using the laptop, so you will get an email. Okay, with okay. the email, you can just click the link. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, so yes, sir. we'll yes, see sir. you in the next class. Okay, okay have a good day. Stay safe. Thank you.